Hello there, Fearless Crew. So I just wanted to do a, a short video about New Year's resolutions because, um, uh, yeah, fuck Christmas, um, uh, you know, but actually I'm actually in the self-help personal development world. What seems to crop up before Christmas is actually New Year's resolutions and the fact that people are starting to already plan their New Year's resolutions. And effectively, there's a couple of reasons why New Year's resolutions absolutely suck and why most people fail at them. So I am going to just um, give you a couple of tips now on how you can actually make your New Year's resolutions a roaring success and you can actually achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. Uh, so not just in business, but in your personal life as well, because um, obviously how, how we carry out any of our activities um, you know, and habits and rituals and our core values and beliefs and things like that, um, they, they run through, like run very through and very deep through um, both our personal life and our business life. So um, this is just a general thing around New Year's resolutions. Um, and basically I've, I've worked out that there are um, three main reasons why New Year's resolutions will fail. And I'm also gonna tell you how you can avoid them basically. So, uh, but the first reason is that um, most people choose New Year's resolutions that are just way too big. And so they go through over the hump through Christmas and dealing with family and everything. You know, and then they've got the, the, the downside of um, thinking about having to go back to work and things like that. And then alongside all of that kind of hump that we've just got ourselves over and get heading into the new year, we then want to load extra pressure on ourselves by having this massive goal that we're going to achieve. Um, and, and basically, my best piece of advice here is um, if you start planning your New Year's resolution now, you can start to kind of like break it down into much smaller chunks and you can start to mentally prepare yourself, you know, for, for what activities you're going to be doing in order to achieve your goals. So you need to start planning your resolution now, like today. Um, you don't have to start it necessarily today, but um, you can start to plan it today um, and just break it, break your goal down into smaller achievable milestones um, because otherwise you'll, you'll start your New Year's resolution on January the 1st and the goal that you set for yourself is just going to be way too big. Um, you know, and for whatever reasons, that's why most people, you know, um, don't ever complete their New Year's resolution. Because actually, if you're going to make a New Year's resolution, it should be a commitment for the whole of the year ahead. It shouldn't just be, I'm going to do this in January. I'm going to do this like for the first week. Like a New Year's resolution should be a lifestyle change. That you're going to change like ad infinitum, like at least for the first year, you know, for that whole year. Um, so New Year's resolution isn't just for the new year. It's basically for for all time it's like a, a it should be a, a lifestyle change a habit forming you know habit change that you're gonna you're gonna make for yourself um so it's better to choose to start your new year's resolution now rather than basically put it off for another month until you're actually absolutely forced to to into taking action you can be much more proactive now and, and and rather than get to the new year's and then feel like you're kind of being beaten by a stick to do this monumental task you've set for yourself so the second reason why you, uh, New Year's resolutions fail is that um, uh, on the 1st of January, when you start your New Year's resolution, probably with, for most of us, like with a hangover, um, you're going to be fighting the reptile part of your brain. So the reptile part of the brain is um, deals with fight, flight, and freeze. Um, and when you start to do something that isn't already part of like a habit, a part of your lifestyle, you're going to get fight, flight, or freeze. You're just going to, and, and that is a very uncomfortable place to be um, because you're, you're basically trying to do something that you've been putting off until the new year and, and it's not part of a habit. You haven't formed positive habits around it. So um, my tip here is that basically, again, like start now because you've got to, you've got to get your brain comfortable and desensitized to the new behavior patterns, which you're going to be implementing in the new year. Um, and, and actually, this is the fight, flight, freeze reflexes, the, the reptile brain is going to be one of the major reasons why you're going to fail in achieving your, or keeping up with your New Year's resolution. Um, because it's like the first 30 days of doing anything new is really bloody uncomfortable. Um, so what you've got to start doing is if you just start the planning process for your New Year's resolution right now, today, for the next sort of, what, 37 days that we've got left of this year, um, you can start to desensitize your reptile part of your brain. You can start kind of getting used to the fact that you're going you're gonna to be introducing this new habit, this new behavior. Um, and then you can, you can then take that um, when you actually, uh, on you know, day one in January, when you start it, you can actually, um, you know, you'll do it without having that fight, flight, freeze reflex being triggered. 
and it will feel much more comfortable and it will already feel like it's part of your daily habits, your daily routines. Um, it's no different. To, like one of my busiest coaching months is always January because everybody's like, right, new year, fresh start, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I've actually, my coaching plans, what I want to do with my business, I've already implemented like starting way back in September in readiness for 2019 so that I'm hitting the ground running. I don't just want to like start stuff in January from a, a you know, a, a standing start. Like I've hit the ground running already. I'm, I'm way ahead of many of the other coaches out there. Um, you know, because I've put the planning and preparation in place and I know what I want to achieve already in 2019. And I want to make sure that I've already built those positive habits like today. So that when I get to January, um, the first and I, you know, pull the trigger on it, um, then I'm kind of good to go hitting the ground running. So, um, so start training that reptile part of the brain, fight, flight, free, start training that now and desensitizing yourself to the, the goal. And actually the reality is all it means is that you just make small commitments like from today up until the new year. So think about, think about your goal, think about your new year's resolution, um, regularly and often and, and, um, going through that process of like thinking about your goal, thinking about your new year's resolution, what activities you've got to do for it. Um, we'll just get your brain busy and it will start to kind of, um, uh, like I said, desensitize the reptile part of your brain. It's really, really, really important. Um, uh, and then the third, the third reason then is, um, basically that, uh, you did it just because it was a new year's resolution. That's like, you're going to fail because you just did it because it was a new year's resolution. Actually, the reality is like, if this is not something that you would want to do today, it's not going to work in the new years. Like this should be something that you just want to start, get started like straight away. So, um, you know, again, like a simple example, um, for what one reason or another, well, I changed my, um, my medication that I'm on, um, for something in, in September, the new pills that I'm on, um, one of the things is like a, just a ridiculous appetite. So whilst I might not, not might not show it, but I actually put on a stone and a half in weight. And I was like, I could have made that a new year's resolution was to, would be to kind of, you know, knock off like, you know, a stone or a stone and a half in the new year. It's like, why am I, why am I waiting? Why would I put that off till the new year? So I've started the process now of like, and it's just because I, you know, suffer with seasonal affective disorder with the winter and just cold and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I make myself, I, I just become very sedentary, very inactive, like when the autumn kicks in. Um, but I was like, no, no, I, I've realized that now. So I can kind of wake myself up. I can start going down to the gym. I can start, I've got a turbo trainer now in my house, kind of trying to make the process easier. And if I've already lo lost half a stone before I get to the new year, it's going to make losing that final stone that much easier. It's like, why would I put that off? Why would you, why would you put something off until the new year? Um, you know, and, and call it a new year's resolution. You've got to want to do it now today. Otherwise it's just not going to work. And like, why wait until the new year? If there's something you want to do, like start now, um, you know, commit now. Um, so we kind of build all this stuff up around new year's resolutions, this big hype, and then it just doesn't end up the way we want it to. So you've got to have like a massive desire to achieve whatever goal it is that you've set out for yourself in 2019. And don't call it a new year's resolution, just call it call it a habit a new thing that i'm going to do now like today don't put a label on it like new year's resolution um because otherwise you're just like you'll become like apathetic to it you just won't you won't own it you won't be a boss of it it will be a boss of you it'll crack you with a whip and that's not good for anybody so you've got to you've got to start like the i think hopefully the, the the one thing that you can take out of this video is that you need to start today. You don't need to wait until New Year's to start something like you should want to do it from today. Like right now, today is the day. If there's something you're thinking of putting off until the new year, think about how you might be able to just sow some of the seeds and get it started today. Um, and trust me, when you get round to the new year and doing your thing, your goal will be, you'll be that much closer to your goal, even if it's just 10%, 20%, but you'll have built momentum and you'll be moving towards that goal basically. So, um, just a few ideas there as a, just a short video, but hopefully you've got something out of that. Um, uh, and, and you'll not call it a new year's resolution. You'll just call it a thing that you're going to start doing basically. So cool. Uh, peace out. I will, um, see you all, uh, at some point in the future.